In this video, we are going to talk why applying too much product on natural nail overlay can be damaging for your nails. And of course, we are going to do cuticle care and transformation. Coming up! Hello guys, Anastasia here. I have a client with gel polish overlay and overall they look not bad, but if you will take a look from this side, I had an impression that she has a very curved nails, you know, the ones that are growing downwards. And I asked her, uh, have you ever fixed that? I mean, you can do this with extensions. And she said, no, I just did an actual overlay. So I decided let's just take off the product and we'll see. I'm using ceramic bead with green and blue abrasive mark. And this is the moment I realized that simply there was just too much product on the nails. Clients and even nail technicians may have this illusion that the more product you apply, the stronger nails will be. Well, unfortunately, it doesn't work like that. For example, here, can you see this lifting bubble in the middle? And it happened because there was too much product on the free edge. It was too heavy for this length of the nail, so this lifting started spreading. Luckily, it didn't lead to any damage yet, but if a client will have an enhancement thick like that all the time, it will definitely lead to more problems, because it's simply too much pressure for the nails. Now let's move to the cuticle care. I will be using pusher and push back the cuticles. First, I thought that it's going to be a challenge because, you know, there is that type of skin that looks like it's actually glued to the nail plate, so-called spreading cuticle. But her skin is rather dry, so once I started pushing it back, I realized that no, it's actually not that challenging. But you need to do it carefully. Remember, never press onto the nail plate because this is where the matrix, the nail root, is located and we never want to damage it. Now let's do the cuticle here and I want you to take a look here. So this is a trace from overfiled nail from previous manicure. It was definitely done with a drill bit. And if you've seen it, just do not touch it. Just continue working like you would normally do. As you can see, I accidentally touched it now, so it kind of flattened a bit. But do not intentionally file it. Do not make it even deeper. Just leave this dip like it is, and then we're going to apply a new product, and it will eventually grow off. Now let's see the length, and it is quite different. First, we need to detect the shortest nail out of 10 of them, and here it is definitely the middle one. So first, I'm going to shape the middle finger into the oval shape, and then we're going to measure it with other nails so they will all match. So since this one was the shortest, we need to make most of them short as well. For example, this one, ring finger, it is almost twice longer. So as I'm filing and shaping the nails, I'm like, oh man, I actually didn't do the cuticle care on the other hand. Let me guys know if you ever had the same problem. I mean, normally I never forget anything because, you know, I have a strict schedule and sequence that I follow all the time. But here, I don't know, just got distracted. Here's a simple trick on how you can clean your diamond bead if it's stuffed. Sometimes it is stuffed with the skin, especially it's very oily. Sometimes a client could use some oil, some lotions, or even just a regular nail polish to make them look glossy again. So this trick will be definitely helpful, but keep in mind if you will use it too much, then your bead may become dull pretty fast. Now let's clean the dust and keep working. Remember, if you have too much dust on the top, you will simply not be able to see what's going on there. So clean it from time to time. I would like to show you two different ways to trim the cuticles. And also I will be testing two new implements 
from a brand called Silver Star. So now I pushed up the cuticles with the e-file only and now I'm going to trim it. So there are multiple implements you can use for it, for example scissors and this is the one I mostly use. I prefer the one with the curved and long blades because to me it's just easier to work with them and you can trim the cuticles carefully without damaging it or cutting it, only if you pushed it back really well. And the second important factor uh, to achieving a good result is using a high quality tool that should be very sharp. If the scissors will be dull, unfortunately you will not get a good result. Now here are tweezers. Basically those are scissors as well, but as you can see they're closing in a different way which is kind of cool and I really like working with them. The only disadvantage for me personally is the length of the blades. They are so short and I am personally am used to longer ones. But anyways, it's pretty simple to work with them as well, especially on yourself. And since they're basically opening by themselves, you do not have to apply force like you usually do with the regular scissors. I think that probably you can even finish the service faster or maybe it's just a feeling. But I need to test it. I need to test it more and then I will share it, guys. Ideally, you need to trim the cuticle in a one piece, but sometimes it's just not working and if it doesn't, you can simply come back and continue this line, but please be careful. Now we are done and let's apply the color, but first we need to do some prep. I will be using dehydrator and non-acid primer. I usually use that for medium or long nails and apply it only on the free edge because this is where the product usually start peeling. Today we will be using a base coat with the color and honestly it's my first time using a base coat like that, it's with the lilac color. So first I apply a very thin coat and cure it for 30 seconds in LED and the next coat will be so-called the structure layer. I will apply more product and apply it the same way as I would with the hard gel. As you can see, the consistency is rather thin, so you need to work fast. And by the way, you can use this method of application if you ever have troubles with applying white color or any pastel shades. This is how you can avoid this nasty stroke lines that usually are there once you apply this kind of colors. I think one coat will be enough here. And then I'm going to cure it all in LED for 30 seconds. And do not forget to take a look from the side. For this length, we need to see a little bit of apex. The nail should not be completely flat. And last step will be sealing with the top coat and you can always add a little bit of structure as well to achieve a perfectly smooth surface. Now, simple lilac nails are boring, right? So let's add some crystals. Those are Swarovski AB crystals and I'm using a Accents bling on gel to secure them as well as crystal katana tool. So this design is pretty simple. You just have to have crystals of three different sizes. You just place them like that in a cross and then you take a caviar beads. We decided to use the silver ones and put them in between. So now it looks like some kind of setting like a jewelry. Now cure and on the other nails we decided to add a little bit of accents as well. So I simply added one crystal and a few caviar beads in between. So it will look like in a composition. So I added this one on index finger and on the ring finger I will do the same but on the opposite side. One crystal and few beads as well. I think golden ones will look pretty cool as well. After fully curing, do not forget to outline the design with a no wipe top coat to secure it better. What do you think guys? Now these nails do not look curved at all as they did at the beginning. So now you can see that the color application matters and try to apply it as smooth as possible. Thank you so much for watching. If you are first time here on my channel, consider subscribing as I post new tutorials and nail transformations just like this one every week. And I will see you in my next one. Goodbye!